Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. I want to talk about this limit problem. Um, as x approaching zero, we want to figure out what this function x times c, uh, cosecant x is approaching to. So how do we find this limit? Um, one thing that we need to recall here is that we need to recall this limit fact here about the sign. So when we take the limit as data approaching zero, and sign of data over data, okay, is approaching one. Okay, so what we wanna do here is to manipulate this function into that form so that we can use this fact, and then that will help us find the limit. So let's get started. Um, how do we manipulate this function? Um, instead of working with cosecant, we can actually just work with sine, right? So we can turn this cosecant x into a sine function by rewriting it as the reciprocal of sine, right? So it will be x times. Now the cosecant x is going to be changed into uh, one over sine, okay? So we have one over sine here. And then if you actually clean up the expression, then you are going to be getting the limit as x approaching zero, and then we have x over the sine x. Okay, so we have that x over the sine x. And now if you just compare what you have right now with this limit, you can see that that's actually just the reciprocal. So how do we rewrite this function so that it's in the form of the sine over uh, sine data over data? And so the question is, how do we bring this x to the bottom? Um, there are two ways to do it. You can multiply top and the bottom by 1 over x, or we can simply just move this x to the bottom. How do we do it? By taking the reciprocal. So we can do that by doing this. So there are two ways to do it. And one easy way to do it is to move the x to the bottom, and then you change its exponent into a negative exponent. So if we do that, then we are going to be getting We're going to be getting a one at the top because I'm moving the x to the bottom. I'm taking this reciprocal. And then I'm going to get x to the, what, minus one because originally it's in the numerator and its exponent is one, right? I move it to the bottom. It becomes x to the minus one. And then there was still the sine x at the bottom. Okay. So now how do you rewrite this x to the minus one in the denominator without the negative exponent? we can actually do this. So the numerator is still just that one, right? And then the denominator now becomes sine of x. And what we need to do is to move this x to the minus one to the denominator of the sine of x. Okay, so it becomes It becomes, it becomes just the x at that. So see that that's now in this form. So what do we do next? What we can do next is that we can apply the limit law because the limit of one is equal to one. The limit of sine x over x also exists and it's not equal to zero. So we can actually, we can actually apply the limit law right here. And so what are we getting here? We get the limit as x approaching zero, and then there was a one here, and then the limit as x approaching zero, and then there was that sine x over x. Right, oh, actually that should be a x, right? Over x. And then there's the fraction line here. Okay, so now you know that that's equal to one, right? So we have the top is, of course, is going to be equal to one. And then the bottom, the bottom is also equal to one because of that, right? So we have the one at the bottom. This looks exactly like that one, except that we are, instead of using data, we have X. And so we have one over one. And what is one over one equal to? That's just equal to one. So 
Um, this function x times cosecant x is approaching one as x is approaching zero. Then we are finished with this problem. If you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and share my videos to others. It will give me support to make more videos. If you have questions or have a topic that you want me to talk about, please leave me a comment. Thank you for watching this video.